Hi, welcome to taking this video. We are going to see how we can use and test this uh, infrared uh, thermometer. So this is sold on eBay for around eight dollars. As you can see here, I'm on eBay.com. As you can see, seven ninety three. So this is offered in multiple formats. So some other people are offering the same thing with this color, eight sixty and thirteen dollars. This looks a little different, but the main buttons are exactly the same. So somebody has designed it in China and they forgot to label it with some kind of brand. So this doesn't have any brand. This guy is selling it for 36 and so forth. So this can be used for multiple applications. I've tested it. It's very, very precise. It's worth it. Actually, I mm, used it for fun just measure the temperature of anything so this can measure between minus 50 to 380 degrees celsius which is minus 58 degree fahrenheit to 716 degrees of fahrenheit and it uses two triple uh, a battery so it's very simple it has a trigger button and here we have infrared light that emits and it goes and there is a lens that uh, measures the variation of the return of the infrared and displays the value so we have also here like a gun we have a aiming point and on this area we have so we have three buttons here it doesn't need any turn on and off you just press the trigger and it measures the temperature for example it shows 18 degrees uh, celsius and if you want to change it to fahrenheit just press the red button that's 65 so it will convert it for you at any moment and we have two other buttons so this is a backlight very nice immediately it will let the back so you can see it and this one is the laser button so if i measure so that laser is not affecting the calculation it's just for aiming so you, if you want to disable it still it will measure but you will not know precisely where you are measuring so in some applications in some places you might not be able to use it for safety reason so you can just turn it on or turn it off if you can do it but if you don't need that you just aim it to that direction and do it the screen it shows the backlight on and also it shows the laser is on when you press it it shows a hold so this is the last calculated value and then it shows centigrade so if you want to change it to fahrenheit it will be fahrenheit but if you press and hold it it shows scan because you can now uh, move it to the multiple surface area and then it will do the average I have here a heater So as you can see here, now it shows 78, 79, so the average is now 37. Now that's the surface of the oven, and let me just aim and see what it does. So I just turn that on. It's heating up. The more I move it, the more average I will get. You see, when I move this, I will get the average because it will ca constantly calculate and then will give me the average. So the average is now 191 degrees Celsius, 376 Fahrenheit. From the second floor, now we can see that everywhere there is snow and let's measure the surface temperature of the backyard so that's as you can see it measures from far away so that is minus 34 which is minus that's minus 30 fahrenheit minus 34 centigrade so they are very close and this is the rail of the so that's minus 26 
very cold if you touch it. That's a street level very far away. I want to see how far I can measure. And now I'm totally aiming at the far away there. That is about 10 meters or 30 foot. <laughs>